do you guys want to be able to drop 100 points in the rec center or just be able to give the absolute best dunks and contact dunks so you guys won't get blocked from behind or anything like that then this is the video for you guys i'm going to be giving you guys the best animations for dribble moves and dunks so make sure you guys watch this whole video through but now let's jump straight into it yo what is good youtube it's your boy carson got fans and today you guys i got the absolute best animations to use in nba 2k 21 next gen and yes i said animations by that i mean triple moves and dunks all that stuff so you guys can be the best player that you guys can be and before we begin today's video i do want to give a huge shout out to the 300 subscribers that we reached a couple of days ago i love you guys i couldn't have done this without you i want to thank all my irls and stuff that told me i could do it they pushed me motivated me everybody who's just helped me in a way so you guys know who you are if you've ever talked to me and helped me about anything give me advice on a thumbnail or just gave me videos idea motivated me anything i appreciate y'all man i wouldn't be here without y'all you guys are the ones who push the videos and help me get out there but anyway now let's get into the video 30s, 40s, toasters. Bitch, you taking over. Popping his hand, I'm going insane. She pulling up, she give me brains. I swear to God, I need the cash. I really don't care about none of the fame. She touched me, she's face with a man. I'm looking away because I don't have a thing. And I've seen a lot of people with my man. These bitches, man, they really all be the same. Popping his hand, I'm going insane. She pulling up, she give me brains. I swear to God, I need the cash. I really don't care about none of the fame. She touched me, she's face with a man. Are you guys jumping straight into the dribble moves for my? Dribble style, I like to use power, and it's just like current gen. I like to use it because I feel like it's close to my body, and I'm not exposing the ball. I won't get bump stolen as much, all that good stuff. And for my signature size up, I actually like to use Tim Hardaway. I think it looks really clean coming up the court, especially when you back up. It looks like the Kobe escape or Kobe size up, whatever you want to call it. But that's what I use for my dribble style and my signature size up. Are right, you guys for park size up and basic size up? I do not have a park size up because you guys know I don't like doing all that rolling on the ground, roly poly, whatever you want to call it. I don't like doing any of that. And for my basic size up package, I use Pro One. And the reason I like it is for this move right here. I really like this move. It gets you a lot of space and it's kind of like a space creative thing. It'll get you open if you need to, like in the rec center. Like, let's say you got a screen on your right. You hit that move to the right, they're stuck on the screen. Easy green light. But that is what I use for, well, that's, I don't use anything for park size up. But then that's what I use for basic size up package is pro one are right, you guys moving on to size up escape package and moving crossover for the size up escape package i'm going to stress this guys you guys need pro two for the one move that everybody spams that i have a bad habit of doing the curry slide yes and then for the moving crossover i go pro eight um most people go different i mean it's really all personal preference at the end of the day and I just feel comfortable with it. Like I said, you guys know how I am. I like it close to my body and low, quick, anything like that. It's a nice checklist for me, and that's what mo Moving Crossover Pro 8 does for me. But now we can move on to Moving Behind the Back. All right, you guys, now for Moving Behind the Back and Basic Spin. For Moving Behind the Back, I like to use Pro 3, and for Moving Spin, you guys should already know Basic 1, so you guys can get that little spin back and you like hop back to the three-point line. And I just like this Behind the Back because I think I had it on Current Gen 2. And if you spam it like this, I just think it looks really clean. It's really fast. You could size up somebody with it and then take it to the hole, get an easy dunk, step it back for a three. But that's why I like these moves. All right, you guys, now wrapping up these triple moves from moving hesitation, moving step back, and triple threat style. You guys should already know by now. I'm still rocking normal one for the triple threat style. I never change it. I'm going to show you guys just in case you guys think I'm lying or anything like that. There's no point. I mean, in my opinion, there's no point changing it. But anyway, for moving hesitation, I like Pro 4 just for this move right here. You can get like a little speed boost out of it sometimes, and I really like it because it's just a nice simple in and out cross. You can fake one way, hit the curry slide, and then just green it, actually green it, not just get a full white. But anyway, then moving step backs, Pro 2, I love this because if you guys have ankle breaker and space crater on, and you guys hold RT and flick down on your right stick, you get those animations right there. And with space crater and ankle breakers, like I just said, it gets a ton of ankle breakers and you'll catch so many ankles and all that good stuff. But now we can move on to the dunks. All right, moving on to dunks, guys. This is what I have. I have default swing, and I have all these dunks, and these are all the safe dunks in my opinion. I feel like I never get blocked from behind or anything like that for these dunks. I don't have any cock bag slammed or anything like that. As you can see, I have all the alley -oop packages, all the contact dunks, everything like that. But if you guys just want the standard, regular dunks, this is what I have. You guys can pause it if you need to really fast. But now let's move on to footage of using the dunks. All right, you guys, now showing you some clips of how I use these dunks in the game. As you can see, this is all the way back in Rookieville, but it's basically the same thing every year. You basically, you're going to, the dunking is the same. You're going to know what to do. And in this clip, I'm pretty sure I do an up and under or something along those lines and get passes 
I don't even know what this dude was, can't even remember. As you can see, I'm locking him up, take it back. I'm taking the baseline right here. I see it behind Curry slide up and under. And it's just like that, y'all. You guys just want to use your basketball IQ. If someone's behind you, hold up on your right stick, get a safe dunk. If no one's near you and you're feeling it, you can go for a flash. You're holding down your right stick. Someone's to your left, you go with the right. Someone's to your right, go with the left. Simple as that, guys. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's video on the best animations to have on your My Player on NBA 2K21 next gen. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys smash that like button and sub to the channel because we are on the road to 400 subs. That's insane to say, even to think out loud or whatever. But make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. Join my Discord. I'm going to be leaving all that stuff in the description. And the reason I always talk about Twitch is because I stream a lot more on Twitch than I do YouTube. And I noticed that some of you guys who are in my YouTube chat aren't in my Twitch chat and vice versa. So, I mean, make sure you follow my Twitch and have noties on. And same thing for YouTube because I try to switch it up depending on how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys smash that like button and sub to the channel. I love you all. Peace.